Well, new this morning, a Florida man, he's getting nationwide attention for his work helping people impacted by the storm, and he is now being called Tampa Chainsaw Man. <laughs> and Jamie is joining us right now with more on his story. Hi, Jamie. Amy, what a name and what an opportunity this guy's had. We are joined now live with uh, Aaron Davis. Good morning, Aaron. Good to be with you here on Good Day Orlando. How are you today, sir? I'm doing quite well. How about yourself? Great, great. Tell us about this great undertaking. Why did you do this uh, to begin with? Tell us about that. Well, it started out simply to come out to Austin to help my girlfriend, <laughs> and uh, of course that uh, that turned into uh, into you know going out and finding some uh, some opportunities to help other people. Um, so I, I, I called someone I knew here to see how I can get involved, uh, and you know it, it led me to uh, a, a local church, uh, Lakeway Church in in uh, Lake Travis area, mm -hmm. uh, where where I showed up. I'm wearing a Buccaneers cap, <laughs> and uh, I have a I have a truck, and uh, the, the guy goes. Uh, you know, Sam McGee, uh, he says, um, he says, so what are you doing here? I said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm here to help. He goes, where are you from? I said, Tampa. He goes, can you run a chainsaw? I said, sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to cutting, uh, cutting uh, myself out of a driveway uh, during hurricane season almost every other year. So, uh, so yeah, he says, uh, well, fantastic. Um, here's a chainsaw. Do you, can you go to Harper, Texas? And I said, sure. Where's Harper, Texas? And uh, it's about two hours west. And um, he, he put the chainsaw in my hand and I, uh, I took off to Harper. Uh, to be, you know, to be feet on the ground and, and help, you know, help the people there. And uh, it was just the craziest thing, a uh, chain of events. I, he, he put me in this Facebook uh, feed and apparently somewhere in that feed, someone passed the information along to People Magazine. So as I'm driving out to Harper, Texas, I'm doing an interview uh, while I'm driving with People Magazine and then lo, lo and behold, I'm Tampa Chainsaw Man. I love it, I love it. Florida dude, we love you for that. Uh, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> like instant celebrity, right? As you're driving along. Let me ask you, when you got to your final destination and you got your boots on the ground and you started helping out and get your hands dirty, what did you see when you got there? And, and, and what did, what resonated inside of you when you saw that overall scene because it was a mess out there in Texas. It was, you know, and 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 especially for us, you know, Floridians, you know, it, you could totally relate it to a a, a devastating hurricane. Sure. I didn't, I did not understand the the uh, the damage that snow and ice and the weight of those, uh, you know, those things on top of trees, on top of rooftops. I mean, th this poor town of of twelve hundred people uh, over in Harper, there, there's trees down everywhere. They're sitting on top of little old ladies' houses, mm -hmm. uh, churches, you know, everywhere in town. There's trees down. Down. And, um, and and they've been without power. By the way, I mean now we're on day ten, I, and some of those houses still do not have power. So if you can imagine, they're freezing. They have no power. They have no water. And now all their food is spoiled. So it was just a, an absolute devastating uh, thing to be a, a part of, you know, to, to witness. And, uh, and 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 you know, I'm happy to serve. And thankfully, a lot of a lot of attention uh, was placed on the town because of the story and everything else. And so I'm I'm still here, continuing to help and and actually raise funds for the effort. Awesome story, Aaron. We thank you so very much. And again, I was kind of likening it to what I saw with the power outages, the lack of water and food, uh, kind of like a cold hurricane, right? I mean, we here in Florida, we know how devastating storms can be. And on that side, yeah, they do get hurricanes in Texas, but for that cold air and all the ice and snow, I mean, man, that was something else. Aaron, we, we thank you uh, for yeah. your good work and, and the great things you're doing, uh, not only in our community here in Florida, but also what you did for the fine folks in the Lone Star State. So blessings to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right.